Today, we as a nation have to face this tough question. Are we better off now than we were before? The answer will reverberate across various platforms as per whom you ask. And the answer will tend to differ. If you ask the people who led the Aragalea last year, they will feel disappointed, yet justify their actions. If you honestly look at their actions, they really didn't help change this nation's course. The system change they screamed about never happened. The only thing it displayed was the barbaric nature of some of them and the ignorance of the rest to the point of manipulation. Then if you ask the liberal economists, they will say, yes, Sri Lanka is on the right track, but there's more to be done. It is partially true. And the truth is not about the fact that we are on the right track. You ask America, and they will say they are happy about what's happening in Sri Lanka. You ask China, they will say they are disappointed and concerned. And you ask India, they will say neither this nor that. It is the same with our politicians. The location of their seat in parliament will determine their answer. And if they change that seat, the answer changes too. If living in Sri Lanka means that your hard-earned salary disappears within a week of earning it, if going to the supermarket and not being able to buy the essential, when preparing meals, you are thinking about skipping one, not for dietary concerns, but out of necessity because you simply don't have the money. If getting sick and you are, you are rethinking just drinking a samahan and going to sleep rather than going to the doctor to get medicine simply because you do not have the money. Forced to walk because taking public transportation is too costly would not fit in your monthly budget, letting go of simple things that brought you joy, like going to a movie or a concert, because you no longer can afford it, then we seriously have to ask the question, what are we doing as a nation? Those people I spoke about earlier are the 1% unaffected by the current crisis, the very same ones who are telling us this is the way. They are certainly inconvenienced, but not suffering the way most in the country are suffering. Yet sadly, they have the megaphone on the narrative of our nation. If our politicians are more interested in bringing in legislation to sort out LGBTQ issues rather than solving the economic crisis, if our leaders are more interested in holding elections and not creating an environment where you can live a dignified life, if our businesses are more interested in funneling out money from this nation rather than investing in the future of our children, then we seriously have a problem in this country. The only way we can solve it is by rethinking what we are doing, or in our case, what we have been told that 1% to do as the right thing. We'll be right back.